Groundnut pyramids were pyramid-like structures made from groundnut sacks. The pyramids were built in northern Nigeria in cities such as Kano, where groundnut production was a key part of the economy in Nigeria's first republic. They were viewed as both a tourist attraction and a symbol of wealth. In the 1960s and 70s, as production in Nigeria shifted from agriculture to oil, the groundnut pyramids gradually disappeared. Now, this begs the question, would the groundnut pyramids ever return? Al-Hassan Dantata, a prominent nut trader, was the brain behind the invention of these groundnut pyramids. Dantata came to Kano in 1919 and within five years, he had become one of the most successful businessmen, supplying the Royal Niger Company, RNC, with most of their groundnuts. Dantata's company kept their groundnuts at a facility in Kofa, Nasarawa, and they stacked the bags in the shape of a pyramid before they were shipped. Many farmers in the villages were harvesting for him. Whenever it was a season, people would bring groundnuts from different parts of Kano to the locations of the pyramids on camels and donkeys. Only a few people had vehicles to bring their produce there. His duty was to get laborers to put them together in pyramids. When this was done, the agents would later transport them to Lagos for shipment abroad. Most of Dantata's customers were outside the state and country. The groundnuts produced in Kano at the time were beyond what the state could consume. They were even beyond what Nigeria as a country could consume. Later in 1918, Al-Hassan Dantata was approached by the Niger company to help purchase groundnuts for them. He was already familiar with the manner by which people made fortunes by buying cocoa for the Europeans in the Gold Coast, now Ghana. He responded and participated in the enterprise with enthusiasm. He had several advantages over other Kano businessmen. He could speak more English because of his contract with the people on the coast. Thus, he could negotiate more directly with the European traders for better prices. He also had accumulated a large capital and unlike other established Kano merchants, had only a small family to maintain as he was still a relatively young man. Dantata had excellent financial management, was frugal and unostentatious. As soon as he entered the groundnut purchasing business, he came to dominate the field. In fact, as of 1922, he had become the wealthiest businessman in Kano. When the British Bank of West Africa, now First Bank of Nigeria, was opened in Kano in 1929, Dantata was the first Kano businessman to utilize a bank account when he deposited 20 camel loads of silver coins. Shortly before his death, he pointed to 60 granite pyramids in Kano and said, These are all mine. At the apex of the granite harvest, one pyramid could be made from as many as 15,000 full granite bags. Unfortunately, some former granite pyramid sites in Kano had been turned into real estate. Granite pyramids were built all across northern Nigeria in cities like Kofa Mazugal, Bebeji, Malamadari, and Dawakin Kudu. The pyramids became synonymous with Nigeria's agricultural wealth that a postage stamp even featured a granite pyramid. However, as granite production declined in the 1970s and 1980s, the granite pyramid disappeared and were replaced with buildings. Former President Goodluck Jonathan on his visit to Kano during the 2010 presidential campaign, 
promised that his administration would help the people to revive the granite pyramids as well as put in place the necessary infrastructure to boost its processing and packaging. He said there was a need to empower the people of Kano and boost trade and industry in the ancient city. Four years later, in 2014, Jonathan said his administration, under the Granite Value Chain Program, was expected to produce an additional 120,000 metric tons of granite, valued at 24 billion naira, and supplied to small, medium, and large-scale processors. According to the former president, the project was planned to be implemented in 15 states across northern Nigeria, namely Bauchi, Benue, Borno, Gombe, Jigawa, Kaduna, Kano, Katsina, Kebi, Kwara, Nasarawa, Ninja, Taraba, Yobe, and Zamfara. However, nothing was heard of about the project until the expiration of President Jonathan's administration on May 29, 2015. So, will the granite pyramids ever return? Let us know in the comments. We always have more stories like this to talk about. Don't hesitate to like and share this video with your friends. You can subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to receive the latest videos as they drop. Also, if you would like to know more about Al Hassan Dantata, the founder of the granite pyramids, do check out our next video.